yeah, very simply, regenerative agriculture is a way of stewarding ecosystem. It's 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 more than farming, right? Like actively whatever cultivating the soil. Regenerative agriculture is a way of stewarding the ecosystem in a way it we in which ecosystem services provided by that ecosystem are at least constant, like you are not diminishing those, uh, i.e., you know, the sustainability conversation, or you are enhancing those ecosystem services by your stewardship and specific actions that you are taking, hence regenerating regeneration or nature positive, right? And then so I think three parts uh, to the story. European carbon farmers is one of the ways of living my mission, which is putting farmers at the center of climate change, uh, mitigation, adaptation efforts in a profitable way for those farmers. Uh, and we have started very much rooted in two dimensions, which are our family farm experience, first-hand experience of transitioning a farm from emissions positive, meaning like we are emitting more greenhouse gas emissions than, you know, than we are capturing to negative emissions farm, meaning we are capturing more CO2 and storing that in our soils than some of all the other, not all the other, because we are emitting CO2 as well, but like then the sum of all greenhouse gas emissions that we are emitting uh, on, on our operation, therefore being, you know, climate positive, uh, and, and and also being nature positive as well, but like those are two different dimensions. My my big dream is that we are net zero by or before 2050 in a nature positive way during and of course beyond that transition to 2050. And that I don't want to be saying somehow in that process because this is like really not specific, right? But like in that in that process, we tackle our systemic injustices that are present in the system at local, regional, national, and the global level, right? And kind of talking from global to, to local, you have the capital flows and north-south divide, which is like, you know, totally true and, and totally present. So like that, you know, like I don't want to believe in a world by 2015 which you have that division and I am aware that will not happen on its own, right? Like, like we have to aid that. That's why I'm like kind of working a lot on, on African topics as well, which is one of my hats.